Welcome back, everyone. The American Cancer Society estimates there will be over 330,000 new breast cancer cases diagnosed in women this year alone. But the good news is early detection vastly improves chances of survival, which is why one local organization is asking the public to lace up and step out this fall for a life-saving cause. Here to tell us more, I'm joined by Stephanie Tucker, Executive Director for It's the Journey. Welcome back. Hey, thank you. Uh, thank we're you. so happy to have you. For anybody that missed you the first time, what exactly is It's the Journey? So we're a local 501c3 nonprofit, but we only do breast care. So breast health, breast care, uh, breast cancer prevention. So Okay, and it all stays right here Everyth in Georgia. Everything we raise stays here in Georgia. Oh, fantastic. That's okay, crazy. You're, you're sponsoring the two-day event. Uh, tell us all about it and how we can sign up and get excited, get yeah. a team together. Yeah, so people can get, can get any kind of team together. All you have to do is go to our website to do that, but it's a 30-mile walk. We do it in two days, so instead Whoa. of three days, we're doing two days. Yeah. We walk 20 miles on Saturday. We, we stay at the Merritt Marquis, have a big pajama party. Nice. Yeah, so it's going to be great. And you get up on Sunday and walk 10 more miles. So by noon, you're done. And we've raised hopefully a million dollars. That's fantastic. Now, I know you mentioned 30 miles. It's a lot of walking distance. I know people out there may be going, I'm not sure I can do that. But you're here to say that actually, it, you don't have to be in amazing shape. You, you know, you kind of have anybody of all fitness levels that can participate, right? Yeah, yeah. So last year we had people that were in the middle of chemo um, that wow. were able to walk a little bit, but we have sweet vans along the route and we have we have um, ankle and foot centers of Georgia provides podiatry services. Good, we have well, uh, Wellstar Health, Health System provides medical services all along the route. So if you get tired and you want to get picked up, you want to go back to the hotel and watch a game, you can do that as well, <laughs> right. which a lot of people do. So, But that's great. But just to know if anyone's watching and they are currently going through it right Right there just do what you can if you're you feel so inclined walk till you can but yep. know that you're going to get help along the route absolutely um, and if somebody actually maybe doesn't want to walk but they want to volunteer I imagine that you're always taking volunteers yeah so it takes about 200 people to put this event on for us wow. and so we have some very loyal volunteers so they can go to our website and just volunteer for either a day service or we have people that work on crew that get to stay with us throughout the weekend and so those people really keep us safe along the route we have the sweet vans those are all volunteers volunteers. So yeah. We really need those. Good, good. And I know this year holds some special significance for you. In fact, I want to hear something. Let's have the audience listen to something. But here I go. I get to ring this bell and I say, ring this bell three times. Well, it's told to clearly say my treatment's done. This course is run and I am on my way. Ready? Six. <laughs> Oh, I know. I see you over there. And I imagine it never gets old seeing that video and, and listening to it, watching it. And yeah. um, how are you feeling right now? When was that? So that was in March. So I finished chemo in March. So it was interesting, like my journey, as we like to call it, right? I was diagnosed in, in October and started chemo in January. So did four rounds of chemo, did 20 days of radiation. So I'm currently three months out from treatment. So um, like happy. I said, losing my toenails, just, you know, have weird hair. But, you know, no, it, is you what it, it is what it is, right? Like, it's all part of the journey. Exactly. Um, you know, and what I do is here, I'm here to raise dollars for other people who don't have the good services and the good health insurance that I have. So. Yes, I'm so happy that yeah. you're feeling good. Thank and you. That will all grow back yeah. and you're fine. The most important thing is you're here, you're happy, you're healthy, right. and you're wanting to make a difference for those who need you. And if, if anybody, uh, maybe they can't attend, um, but they really do want to help out, they, they feel so compelled by your story, um, what should they do? Yeah, so they can go to our site and just make a regular donation. Good. $35 will pay for a clinical breast exam. Wow. $160 will pay for a mammogram, which is what saved my life. Yeah. Had I not gone, my, my, my tumor was aggressive. It could have been a different story. Mm. So, But even $5 will make a difference. $5 times seven, then you've got, you know, you've got somebody that can get a breast exam. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And every dollar counts. But when you really break it down like that and know exactly where a donation is going um, and how it's going to help specifically, it always, I really think, paints the picture and gets people yeah. involved. So thank yeah. you so, so much. Yeah, absolutely. Always great seeing you. Hopefully we'll see you again before. Oh, wait, did we, did we mention what day it was? It's October 1st and 2nd. Thank you. October yeah. 1st Don't and 2nd. Mark your calendars. And of course, we'd like to thank Stephanie and It's the Journey, Inc. for sponsoring that segment. All right, coming up after the break.